what are three steps someone can do to improve social anxiety, become more confident, and improve their communication skills? Well, the way that I would recommend, I mean, I may be a little biased, but you know, Toastmasters, uh, I'm still a big Toastmasters guy. Uh, and with Toastmasters, view it more so as a social skills club that teaches public speaking. Mm-hmm. So this gets you out of your house. It gets you going to the clubs and networking. I recall in some of our clubs, we used to have after hours. Mm -hmm. So you can network with them after the meetings. Um, If there is no Toastmasters, uh, find a way to at least build relationships with the people that you already know. Mm -hmm. The reason that a lot of people are like, man, I'm so lonely is because they undermine the people that they have and they dwell on the people that they don't have. Mm So um, it depends on the person and what their circumstances are. Uh, You could either do something like Toastmasters or you could just pick up a call uh, with an old friend. And these sort of um, these sort of little moments keep your social muscles strong. And from there, you um, you'll notice that the social anxiety is changing. You you don't want to kill any type of feelings. Mm -hmm. Uh, You remember uh, right before speeches like we'd feel a lot of these nerves Absolutely. and it's like th- the nerves are actually meant to help us it's not meant to uh, it's not meant to be eliminated it's meant to be redirected mm-hmm. so don't try to kill social anxiety i uh, try to use it in a way where it's it's serving as fuel it's adding color to your words it's making you a fun personality mm-hmm. so totally agree um uh, embrace your social anxiety just like I don't know if you ever did sports, but when I used to run track and cross country right before a race, I would have that anxiety, but I would use it to fuel me to do better in my races. So embrace social anxiety, number one. Um, also, use your friends and family members to build up your communication and confidence skills. But if you could break it down into three actionable steps, what would that look like? The actionable steps, well, depending on the person, uh, let's say this person lives in a city, mm-hmm. I would say one, join a Toastmasters okay. or some sort of club. Um, because as an adult, it's very really hard to maintain social connections. So something like a meetup or a Toastmasters, that'll get your that'll get you meeting some strangers and talking to them. Another thing is to um, have at least one weekly call with a friend or a family member. And the third one is to if you can, like this third step is optional, uh, create a private YouTube channel. Like this is something a lot of people don't know about, but you don't need to make your YouTube videos uh, public. You can actually keep it private. And the reason that this is so helpful is because it gets you in the habit of articulating your ideas and seeing what you look like. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons a lot of people struggle with uh, social anxiety is because of uh, the illusion of transparency. Mm which is where they think they look ugly when they're speaking, Shlomo. So it's like, I, if you can see yourself and you're like, man, I'm actually a pretty good looking dude. <laughs> and you're over here creating the ideas and stuff. Uh, that This uh, private YouTube channel uh, becomes a vehicle for you to get to know yourself, uh, see that you don't look ugly, and it helps you express yourself, which further amplifies the first two points. Mm-hmm. You can now... Uh, give more powerful talks in Toastmasters and you can um, communicate in a profound way with the people that you already know very well. So these three steps I would recommend Mm -hmm. join a Toastmasters or some sort of club, um, solidify the relationships you already have and add in a little bit of content creation with a private YouTube channel. 